what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back a back a back a back a back to some more haiku season three episode seven and eight is here today depending on how episode eight ends i will decide if i'm going to tack on the other two to this reaction if if episode eight has you know more of a conclusive ending and i don't have to jump into episode nine or i'm not curious enough to jump into episode nine um then i will leave those two for another day but if anything i'll just give you guys all four episodes to wrap up the season for this reaction but anyways guys don't forget to hit that like button we're gonna just jump right in we're ready to go see um set five final set winner go home let's get it i'll see you guys for the review All right, so Sukishima is coming back to the fold. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right, all right. They're doing a very good job of portraying the the stamina weighing heavy on both teams. You know, they're not as effective as they used to be, not even like a, a set ago. You know what I'm saying? It's a fight to just keep the ball up. The ball is not coming over as powerful as it usually does you know what i'm saying they're catching up every these teams are just battling right now this final set with the final fighting for these final three points i think i think i think it's 14 13 right now right so no was it or is it 14 is it for is 14 or is it 15 14 right now i think it's 15 14 right now with Shirato, Shirato is our at match point um so we still need to get back to deuce i'm not sure i'm not sure so let me not say the score because i'm not sure all i know is that the match is still going on and we're still fighting Tsukishima is on his way back now you know um talk about inspirational man um uh there's a bunch of times when i'm watching this anime and i have to tell you guys i have to be consciously telling myself no tears you know what i'm saying because it's a it's very as i said inspirational as in you see this happening you feel like you're a part of this team even if you know you're just a fan because i'm just a fan i'm like one of those people in the crowd you know what i'm saying i'm the type of guy that even if i go to a sports event and and, and i'm cheering for the away team you know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to be loud. I'm still trying to cheer on my team and whatever the situation is. That's why I don't like the idea of, you know, them being there as a cheerleading unit and they're not cheering for Karasuno. You know what I mean? Um, they should be cheering for every point. And I know they do, but they just don't show it on screen. But at the same time, you can clearly hear Shiratawa's, um, Shiratoizawa's people they're always like cheering their team on. They even started singing a school song at one point. <laughs> you know what I mean? So for me, it's just like being a, a fan of Karasuno. Like I love sports so much and it has meant so much to me over, you know, uh, um, earlier in my life. You know what I mean? It meant so much to me and it trickled over into me watching sports and as an adult and so passionate about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me, it's just like, you know, um, in the argument of who's who's the GOAT and all of this other stuff. Like, sometimes I do have those, ar those arguments of whatever sports it is. You know what I'm saying? Of whatever sports it is. I'll have arguing. I'll have my points. But at the end of the day, everybody gets to go home in one piece, right? You know what I'm saying? It's just who you're passionate about and saying who's better. Who, there's no metric you get what I'm saying some people are undisputedly it's just like how you're gonna compare like Floyd Mayweather jr. to Muhammad Ali who is the greatest of all time Muhammad Ali lost matches Floyd Mayweather did not lose any matches in my opinion Muhammad Ali is still the greatest but some people especially 
um, the modern fans of boxing will say that it's Floyd Mayweather because they wasn't uh, around for the era of Muhammad Ali. They didn't see people like Mike Michael um, Mike Tyson. A lot of people who say that Mike Tyson is the greatest of all time. You know what I'm saying? Um, so there's so many. There's so many people. Um, so many arguments that you can have who's the greatest does it mean that the greatest never lost or does it mean that the greatest dominated over a period of time what is the metric to measure who the goat of whatever sport is you know what I'm saying in my mind I think you, you know what I mean I think that for for um, soccer or football for my European people um, you know, in my mind, when it comes on to that, for me, for me, and this is just my personal opinion, I believe that Ronaldinho is the greatest football player of all time. Not Pele, not Cristiano Ronaldo, not Lionel Messi. Like, Messi is great, don't get me wrong. R um, Ronaldo is great. Even the Ronaldo that came before Ronaldinho from Brazil, too, could be considered one of the greatest um football players of all time you get what i'm saying he was great he has the most goals in 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 world cup history you know what i'm saying um to me in my book i think to be considered the greatest of all time you have to be you have to win at the biggest level messi has not done that cristiano ronaldo has not done that you get what i'm saying and that is on a world stage you get what I'm saying? When it comes to, to um when it comes to to basketball, you know what I'm saying? The people who are considered the GOATs, they've won on the biggest stage, the world stage. You gotta be able to beat people um all over the world. Now you can you can say you can look at it and say, okay, stats matter. Stats do matter, but to what to to what lengths does the stats go? A lot of people would argue with me for days on end to saying a, a lot of people this this um they don't consider Pele to be the greatest of all time. You get what I'm saying? Because they will say, oh, the stats don't match up. But guess what? Pele won on the biggest stage. So what what are you gonna do about that? You know what I'm saying? What are you gonna do about that? He won on the biggest stage. He, he wasn't around for big European soccer and how popular it is today. You know what I'm saying? In my mind, when it comes to cricket, Brian Lara is the greatest of all time. So that's what I'm saying. The greatest Batman I've ever seen. For some people, it's Tendulkar. For some people, for some people it's Ricky Ponting for, for some reason. So everybody has their different perspective on what greatness is. And that's what makes sports so widely um accepted and just it's just so inspirational because we can have these arguments as fans and there's no ill will towards anyone there's no you know what i'm saying there's no calling nobody names oh you're an idiot because you're calling that guy no all of these people that we talk about they have their accolades to put their name on the ballot for greatest of all time and that's what's so great about it that's what's so good about it for you to be able to live and and, and see these great people play sports. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't take away anything from them. Like I've had heated arguments, heated arguments with my brother. I have an older brother that we have arguments all the time about who the GOAT is of basketball. He believes it's Michael Jordan. I believe it's LeBron James. Now, a lot of people would argue and say, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's because, no, I saw both play. That's the thing. I saw both play. So I can't, you can't look at me and be like, oh, it's because I'm witnessing LeBron James now and I never saw Michael. No, I, I watched all the documentaries. I saw, I, I never watched him live because I never went to his games live. But I watched Michael Jordan play in, in the finals and stuff like that. And he's awesome awesome basketball player but he's still number two on my list i'm sorry i just think that when you consider everything yes lebron has lost six championships that he could have gotten he could have had um 
what, nine? Because he has, what, nine trips to the final, right? He could have had nine championships. Now, listen, there's there, there's a whole lot behind it. And I know people are going to say, you know, undisputedly, he went to the final six times. He won six times, got six rings, six MVPs, all of that stuff. Um, but if But if championships is all that determines the greatest player of all time, Bill Russell would be the greatest of all time, undisputedly, because he has 11. Robert Hurry has seven. So, and Robert, and Robert Hurry was never a superstar on any team. He just happens to be on good teams that were winning championships. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Robert Hurry was no, he was a sniper. He was a sniper. I'll give him that. He was a sniper. But you can't look at it. It is like you can also consider if if that's all it is. But we all know that Michael Jordan transcended basketball. He transcended it. He was brilliant on the basketball court. I would take nothing away from him. But when people talk about when people talk about LeBron and his legitimacy as the greatest of all time, people always say, "Oh, he's lost six times in the finals." Nigga, do you know what it takes to go to the finals eight? straight years eight years in a row he went to the finals the only championship that i believe that lebron should have won that he didn't that he didn't win was the 2011 championship that was the only one man it was the only one the first the second time he went to the finals when he was on the heat that was the only one that i would say you know you know it, it puts a blemish on the record it puts a blemish on the record because he didn't show up in that series he did not show up in that series and it's just what it is it is what it is but i still consider him when you consider everything the stats the numbers the everything the the way he carries himself on on and off the court i mean he's in his 17 year this year and still in the running for mvp nobody in the history of the nba has ever done that 17 years in the NBA and still dominating who has done that no one no one has done that you got to put those things into perspective got to put those things into perspective and that's in any sport <laughs> to be around for 17 years and still dominating like you are young like you are youngin still competing for a championship as the main dude come on man give the man his due but anyways that's not what we're here for even though yeah Whatever. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment. And I will catch you guys tomorrow for the final two episodes of Season 3. See you guys over there. Peace.